they continue. Deal with <coughs> Marpa Quinn, huh? <laughs> which is the little C. Everything on this side of these islands, <laughs> islands right here, right? On this side, we're dealing with the Mare, the Mediterranean. A more by Mediterranean of the West. On this side, we're dealing with Gulfo de Mecca, the Gulf of Mecca, and Mare Caribbean, Caribbean, the Mediterranean, the uh, Caribbean, right? So, the Caribbean Sea and Martha Quinna is no longer over here, but we're going to prove how they move it. They move the entire empire, not just these simple little states right here. Show where the real or where the the, the twin sister city or the sister C that's called Marta Quinta, which is just means little C Spanish. The place called Melinara. <laughs> Let you know who who right there. Anyway. I won't get that straight real quick. Gulf of Mecca. Mark Pequena. This I have it. The card B. The card B is um a part of what they call Westeros or Palestine. <laughs> yeah. Being that this is the Mediterranean, this is Canaan, this is the Sea of Galilee, and Tripolis, Tripoli, the three cities, Egypt, we all know Memphis, we started off in this, on this channel in South America, but you best believe I tackled in North America, got a whole lot of good research. You get up there when we get up there. That's a whole nother animal, so. Most of the stuff we do in the um, South and Central, but best believe Moorish America is Alaska and Chile, for real. And we will continue with this Columbus mystery. In this part, we're going to really get a little bit more into the one with the, the cologne that they use, the Genoese. The island of Juana, there's a whole story behind that. It's called Isabel and our map, so we can get the old maps. And just go to, we want to get all the good maps, the ones you can go close up on, almost to a thousand <laughs> pixels or something like that. <laughs> go to Princeton and Yale and stuff like that, go to these sites. Lost yeah. here at EDU. You can get good copies of maps and stuff like that. These boys ain't gonna tell y'all. <laughs> they get stuff because they ain't only doing stealing stuff from all the malls anyway. Doing their own research. 
Early you see a hit spirit in English. Forget it. in the same way like before. I go for the map department. First thing you I think first that's the best one. Associate you from world trade. <laughs> Just make you a bunch of wild Indians right around here. You know what's going on on the side of the Atlantic Ocean. Like an idiot in the 1400, 1500s, late in the game like that. And then you got my father out y'all sipping ass to me like it. Cool. <laughs> Don't die me. I'm my ancestors. Ain't that stupid. I don't want to download this. You just press that. The whole let me see how big that shit is. Five thousand fucking pixels that shit. And that's what a lot of most of man. I didn't stop going to every other place because this place got a lot of maps. They can't find the Florida one in there, The old one. So, yeah, a little trick right there. Maps dot dot edu. And then search. By name. Mm -hmm. So by year and stuff like that too. And get the oldest version. Cause they ain't got them pay some shit that you gotta find a Vatican or the lock and key something. See one of these men just talk about the Dutch. <laughs> Honey, they right on the map. Something about Negroes. You can see Kiera, Sierra Leone. You see right there, Sierra. It's, it's a different language because different European nations started to take what Portuguese used to thought they had. But everybody started to get calm and started to catch up with all these motherfuckers. Us and the Principe Imperial, the prince. The prince right there. And yeah. Uh, Amaru's Barus Amor's neighborhood. <laughs> so check 
for San Miguel. Every time you see San Miguel, you know that's the conqueror. They name a lot of these folks that. Let's see, Negro River. Check out Malta. They on both sides now. And Paria should be over here somewhere. Cause we're gonna deal with Paria in a minute. <coughs> and Maraja. Matter of fact, me. Right here, yeah, the Dutch. The Dutch are already gonna take over this part this time of this map. Let's take this part of Power, Power Maripo. And a lot of the slave laws and stuff that these companies. All these companies got cool and stuff today from this, and we need that. <laughs> the only thing holding us up is us not knowing this. More papa. The only thing holding us up is they telling us that they all the dark people they bring here to pull us up allegedly come from overseas, right? So they give you a story. And the people who allegedly been here before they kill them all and they replace them with these dogs. <laughs> they got a story for that too. Everything ain't explained to you. Just in case you find them later. And that's what been happening. People been finding things but they've been just associating it with what we've already been explained to them. So you groups of people who already know what's going on for real and they deliberately put stuff out there for you to hold on to this in case you run into certain things. Look at another moral. And I even know what he's I just playing right now. Anyway, I just go back to this map before we start reading. So they got we so they got a Portugal. And Lisbon, all of us, all Andalusia. So that's what we're really dealing with. The children, over 700, 800, or over, going farther back than that, of history that we can't just dismiss. And this also going to the reason why every families, all the oldest families in this area got Moorish heads when they family seals, right? I mean, Chris. We can't just ignore that. The reason why, because we're dealing with a world empire. Most of those Descendants of those moors ended up here. That's why that's the real power of the day. Because you got Rome and Carthage playing itself out like a movie right here. I recall you. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah I recall. <laughs> and then you got Hollywood. That's it. It's a metaphysical answer for the same time to me. So, um, Marpa Quinta, that's what I want to say. The last thing before we start reading. We're going to see if they got. Mm, nope. Mob mobile. Mobile. So, they name it Mobile Bay. Bones, let's say Quarter Bay. Today. And Dauphine Island, Fort Morgan, still got a fort right there though. You already know that. Pascacola. And that's the word Gali and Geechee and all that. It's the same word as that right there too now. Pascagola. You can see Pasca a lot in the Moorish American history too. That word, Pasca. Alright. That's what I want to 
sure. Where is that? Yeah, the kings of Africa. <laughs> Quote unquote. Anyway, hey. It's an old map of Florida, right? But we'll see. Marpa Quinn. Next to Cruz. Cruz de Cruz. Crux. Cabo de Cruz Marpa Quinn. Just like the Wikipedia page say. There we go. Did we look at it on Wiki? Oh, yeah, we did earlier. Supposed to be in Morocco, but we ain't supposed to be in Morocco over here. Chapter Cruz de la Marfa Quinta. But they can't hide everything. It just means Holy Cross of the Little Sea. So you're going to find all maps, find stuff that's still there. Find stuff that is RD. You know what you're reading. If you find anything that says something like. <laughs> Randomly, it's like Niebla, something like that. We're gonna jump into a lot of those words anyway. go a little bit more to basically giving them what we see as the borders of Brazil today and that's what we see that history books tell us that Portuguese had control of <laughs> so give them a little bit more leads into Westeros according to them and they're using Westeros as an ancient term used by like the Templars and the Norman Wars and all that shit going back because this place has always been known, going back way farther than we are reading at now. It just looked like a discovery because these Spaniards, these are magicians, and we're creating realities for, for everybody that don't exist in reality, if that makes sense. Egyptians and Greeks knew how to match the spear. So she was basically saying the same thing, like any other civilization, that they tell us is worldwide civilizations that fluent the world through language and whatever. We already I know about that ain't no goddamn falling off if we go off, off to the Atlantic. <laughs> so they, they can't use that like they do in modern times, especially the English. You always use that like all uh, the world, everybody thought the rubber flat, so we didn't know about the America until 1492. Say, <laughs> Pakistanians and Portuguese say they do not know how to do it because to find the meridian very materially. They agreed to charter two ships, one per crown, with passage of geographers, astrologers, and astronomers. Astronomers, starting from the island of San Anton, the westmost cape of Cape Verde, they would still sail in a straight line to the west, which is impossible. If they hit the ground before reaching 370 leagues, they would continue on foot. At the point, they would build a tower. It would be the first landmark of the line of fortifications, which would run from pole to pole to surprise assumption, since it is supposed to have been launched by those who ignored the contours of the continent. They could not know that it extended from Arctic to Antarctic. <laughs> Indifferent to 
what was forged in the Heights since their relationship with the country was reduced to paying taxes and serving in the war. Residents of Cadiz and the Canary Islands associated with a Portuguese pilot reside in Gran Canaria with the intention to, of capturing blacks in Guinea with having to go to Lisbon to obtain a license. So right there we're seeing people from this period, Cadiz and of those Canary Islands over there and probably on both sides starting to capture most so-called blacks in Guinea and she using that because the record her records which is one of the most important records that we got in this situation because she using all the top scholastic documents that the world go by to tell these stories about America, about slavery, about African slavery and Americans and African American history and all this shit. She going through those at the same time matching them out with the thousands and thousands upon thousands of real documents from the time period between the Americas and Andalusia being that her family had those records specifically kept in their libraries. So, just know that. Back to Ghana, she already I figured that out a long time ago. That's the enslavement. They lie, they, they, they telling you in history stuff, these stuff, some of these been between wars, they talk about the wars, but they put them in North Africa between wars. They fantasize that, but what they really talking about is the so-called Indian genocide, the African slave trade, and the conquest of the goddamn planet. Why they tell you about a bunch of fantasy that we call the Indian genocide, the African slave trade, and we would, you know, other, probably some other shit that we ain't even figure out yet that they probably not lie about. Create just to hide this one fact. <clears throat> Although I haven't go to Lisbon to obtain a license, they jumped in 1494, the year of the treaty, returning with an appreciated batch of souls, quote unquote. Soul of the Lord of the Tria obliged to provide protections to the vassals of the Shurifi, one a second with no aspiration that to trade in peace was outraged as such an immediate violation of those agreed in toward the seers that it brought him complications. <laughs> so what I say is the Lord of Beatria, which is the us over here, who our own lords, but we probably pay taxes to the steal or to Catholics, whatever. <laughs> like people like Guzman, some hurt people. They starting to get angry because they're capturing the people and the vessels of the Sharif and one and second are supposed to be protected based off treaties. That's why I say you gotta come in your right names because they got protections under that. So what they're doing is they calling them blacks to get them out of those treaty not even violating but these lords ain't hearing that they know what's going on so they they after them addressing the catholics he demanded the return of some blacks with the status of free man and opportune to look for compli complications the monarch ordered to recover the prey and the culprits sending them to Lisbon where the blacks will be released and the Castilians judged by Portuguese law. So you got the Castilians breaking all the so called you know what I mean, like even though you're going back and forth because we we ain't even get to the part yet we got Castilians getting whoever these people are getting snatched too but at the same time. Most of, most of that work dealing with snatching of so called blacks, we, we can, I gonna say the Spanish and then a much later Portuguese that we ain't even, we ain't even getting there yet. 1600s, late 1600s, 1700s, and stuff like that. These so called Dutch and, you know, 
furthermore, families that I'm mean, changed around or whatever. At this time, 1494, we got the things at war with everybody for some reason. England, France, whoever, name it, they got a war going on with them. That's why I say these motherfuckers, y'all, it was the, it was the virus. <laughs> These good things in the virus right now. Like, it's just, we see, they ain't much supposed to be even touching the people. Based off their own treaties, agreed to and toward the seals. But what is, what they talking about right here is the Sharif and, and Juan and Sekin saying, well, whatever y'all got going on in West Indies over there, so called Caribbean, don't come down here with that. Cause the treaty got a, we got a strict line, right? So they give up. So the Catholics just give up the things and um, give them more the people back. They honor at that time. It will not be the only incident to the smell of coal. French pirates forming army, stealing three seals from the king of Portugal. The first one wants to carry cargoes of. Arambles. So you be a bunch of stuff that show up on her record books because she only got like a lot of the, the transactional stuff, commercial documents. Which could be some deeper stuff like deeds and stuff too now because you commercial documents. So <laughs> these names be all over the place, man, of, of the people, the names of the people. But one common one is more, the most common. She get that straight. To water and the ransoms, the others back. One with 15,000 pesos of gold and parrots. And other with Madeira sugar. This they were Flanders. So, you know, people ransoming their own people, getting snatched up. Different, a bunch of different groups over here already. <laughs> and. Some people come and get their people who be getting snatched. Like this right now is a melting pot because it is, and they and they, they ain't wanted to tell nobody the truth because they want to keep the gold, right? <laughs> so with the booty soul and the bayani of Galicia, the incident rebounded in Castilla, small ship with a. Basket who entered so that might have say Perquina ship on record to try to make it look like it means small ship or oh. it's something why she put them in quotes. Everything that she put in quotes is the reason she do it. <laughs> who entered the Gallican ports with gold from the mine. So Gallican ports they're talking about over there in Europe. So, and parrots was kidnapped and the crew arrested for carrying a French pilot <laughs> wanted to please the king of Portugal so after the French pirates messed with the king of Portugal Castilians messed with the French or messed with somebody else who had a French on board just for you know no more wild Castilians been wild the Catholics sent the lot to Lisbon, proving their goodwill and fulfilling the agreement. Refraining from forming the commission, they tried to keep Columbus in Monte Juan as long as possible. So all this going on between the Catholics and stuff, everything's watching behind the scenes, trying to take a whole continent. It's just too hard to take a whole continent to a lot of stuff happening in order to reform that. Which eventually they did because motherfuckers think this shit was. <laughs> they think that story real today. Most of the world think the 1492 and 1491 story. And African slave trade story and all that shit real. So it worked for the most part. And Mark.
March 1492. See, it's the Karl Mark Aquinas. In March 1492, the Catholics added to the royal leadership the kingdom of the Canary Islands and that of the Indies upon the return of Columbus. So when Columbus come back, they, been, they, been all right. they had a nice drawn out idea of who they got. So now, instead of the Kingdom of Fairs, they're using Kingdom of the Canary Islands and Indies for all this rain. Without the Brazilian part, because that's the parts that under the Silver Reef and under Portugal, according to them. So as we follow along, <coughs> yeah, you see Paul here right there. All right. And Santa Cruz, the Africa, because all of them are still Africa, except for the Castilians right now. They're already getting ready to redesignate everything they could to something else. They ain't want no names that the Portuguese and the Moors using. <laughs> because that's how you steal, you just change the name or something. And get the people to follow that name. Now you're the king of it. In 1494, an incident in the waters of Cape Agua, he was about to destroy relations with Portugal, repeating that discovery made the crown of Castile the owner of the continent. See, so I'm about ready to kill that dude for what he was doing over here because he trying to make it look like ain't nobody on this continent about, about people who they got to civilize, which would make them the owners over them and the continent so-called souls the um, people About this relations relations with Portugal by jumping all over the place, claiming shit. <laughs> Being Juan Alonso and Martin de Sevilla with other neighbors of Palos fishing in the Cape. Juan Serrano, Knight of Setubal, appeared carrying silver cargo for the factories of the King of Portugal, where it was exchanged with advantage. So, we get a bunch of names of other people who just showing up, who, who over here, like you gotta understand. <laughs> we know these people, foreigners are from here. Because we, we let everybody just fix a lot of stuff in our head, but a Juan Serrano, somebody, people got names like that over here right now, right? These people been over here with status in these stories during the time of Columbus. So we dealing with Columbus and Apollos. These people who got a lot of land in the state way before Columbus even been thought of. 
over here and other places and stuff like that too. So, carrying the silver cargo for the factories of the King of Portugal where it was strange with advantage. Looking for the pretext to appropriate it, the Pilanos searched the ship where they found Muslim passengers. They tried to kidnap them, applying the oil law. Serrano explained that it had been repealed, but they did not want to listen to him when the Portuguese offered resistance, applying the prohibition to navigate those waters without license from Castilla. They used artillery, second and caravels. So, see how wild Castilla is. They try to use um, the old walls between them and the Moors to encroach on the Treaty of the City of against Portugal. And they use the fact that they had Moors on the ship as a pretext. And that ship came in hand and, you know, they ended up getting sank. So a lot of stories like that <coughs> were going on and the record show between the wars between Castilla and Portugal throughout these times from her records. Rare relations, fearing Catholics to lose what they gained, they wanted to secure the Canary Islands and adjacent lands which includes the term of Little C, you know, Martha Prima. Obtaining on February 13, 1495 from Alexander VI, the slippery boat in Ephalibus, alluding to the service rendered by the Queen to the Most High, the Portuguese applied the own motto to invest Isabel and Fernando as kings of their possessions in the Saracen and idolatrous countries, Africa. So, that's the gist of what I was trying to explain earlier about what he been doing. Where the whole world, the whole world broke off this, this event. I was at a six with the splitting up of the kingdoms. But they tell you, just like they tell you inside the original, they tell you Saracens and all pagan nations and all the duchess, all the kingdoms, and we gonna, we gonna reduce them to perpetual slavery. And they're descendants, and that's what happened. And they, and they used the word Africa, but we can see that the story going on over here with population was in the process of being converted so everybody getting converted he would convert all his silver to it that's why you see most of the, the so called history books when you see the ones who fought against the colonization get named maroons because they ain't been trying to convert. It's that simple. The people who convert, they still been moles too. They been moles. They just ain't fighting, so they ain't get called that. They get Indian. Or the other shit, whatever other shit that they have for you. fact the beneficiaries should not have aired the position so a lot of these people have been beneficiaries to a lot of these motherfuckers who converted at one period and I've been like Beatrix Lords like they say some of them some of them can say yeah they want to convert some of them I think they've been dying with it since ancient times <coughs> got all walls between each other we ain't no about <laughs> The beneficiary should not have a decision as a date is not found in any heading. John II of Portugal died the same year. So, what 
the second that one of there is the one who started to do all the fake mapping and shit. He already been down with these guys with my name. I mean, Carlos. Water in the Algarve. So he died in the Algarve. Which I believe she's talking about North Africa today. That we know of today is Morocco. Or somewhere in Portugal. That coast area. According to what was said to be poisoned. Leaving no legitimate son, but an illegitimate one. Hectic cessation was prophesied. See, that's why I've been trying to say that a lot of these old Portuguese were dark skinned than the later ones. And you see how he had an illegitimate son who succeeded him. So he got a fake motherfucking <laughs> the third whoever the women is. The Catholic preparing themselves, they prepared to intervene in favor of Mary the first, so that's where they put it. Mary put it to their eldest daughter, being unnecessary as they was crowned without opposition. In 1496, the queen wanted to call the tower. Vote by the governor of Gran Canaria in the port of Marquina, Santa Cruz de Africa. But the attempt failed. So. And after that, we, we now don't know that South America was originally known as Africa. <laughs> but yeah, but I tolerate it. Somebody give us some more clues. Oh yeah, they didn't find out what Om the Omikianos means. <laughs> the Omikianos from wild motherfuckers too. Hey, Chris. As Greece was not sufficiently incentive, on January 2nd, 1496, the Queen resorted to criminals, granting or McKeel or pardon to those who resided in Hispaniola. So, now I'm bringing over all the disease ridden criminal motherfuckers. If they're charged and account for a year, a for fraud. They remain in the land, they could receive a third of the glory they obtained, like the other sailors. As we talked about in the earlier videos, and they were saying the Gallic and criminals over the fight in the walls, in the Canary Walls. The, the number of prisoners and fugitives, rebels to the law, who were sent to the offer was limited. As the bill was pressed for time, involved the judges in the company, ordering to punish those who fell into their hands. Regardless of the quality of the crime, with the punishment of 200 lashes applied with softness. <laughs> Put off spawn in the Gende and exile in the Indies for 10 years. <coughs> I'll find a jurisdiction to prescribe it in the in perpetuity. perpetuity. So, there you go, a lot of people come from that. <laughs> A lot of people over here, over here do that and don't even know it because they ain't talking about it. As useful as the woman as the man in the work of the medals, the measure would be applied without distinction of sex. If the delinquent was possible, the passage would be paid out of his property, running the insolvent transportation in charge of the camera penalties. So in a lot of these so called criminals too many more was captured in the holy walls that were going on. So a lot of them wasn't criminals, they were a lot of the captives. And that's why I say a lot of us come from that old Morocco and Mariecos from those wars. They even call it Africa. Coming off that, mm. that name giving us a blood memory, remembrance. You know, we all these people remember Africa. But that's why you gotta put stuff in context. Let me 
you think about it way too much. People be talking about a whole content of people just based off their complexion. For them to say they capture all those people from uh, one region of the planet, like not even the whole continent of Africa, they just mostly just the West African states, Sub Sahara, Africa. That's what all the DNA tests allegedly say, right? And even if you cut that down by a fourth of people, you got the whole world population down by a fourth. You got, if you got that down by a fourth, to say that they multiply over time, <laughs> you got to cut the whole world population down by a fourth. So that means there's less men for them to use to do, to put those numbers that stole too much. But it would make more sense if they're already in Africa, in, in a Africa. So that means some people ain't get moved around, some people are dead. Some people will get moved around and marry into assimilate into the other people who been there when they get moved at <laughs> over time. And hence we got what we see today. So we really one more after this so we go cut them. Try to help understand what we what we reading. I first started reading this book. I had a dictionary by me, and all kind of other resources. So I just expanded a lot of stuff that I find that I post it and show it. So where you been at? Then I got to send it over to slaves. So if the delinquents were possible, the passage would be laid off, or laid, paid out of his property, <laughs> running the insolvent trans transportation, <coughs> running the insolvent transportation in charge of the camera penalties. These provisions and other similar justify why Columbus, mocked by the kings, did not hold a doubtful merit of having found no land to claim their assets, emphasizing that they have made the Indies fashionable, because at the time of the fourth trip, even the tailors wanted to discover. <laughs> so while all that does mean Native people look for lands that already been already traveled to back and forth by even them. <laughs> and some people who already have come to this place, been trying to come to this place, look for work. Columbus been talking about how fashionable and fantasy, so he, how like a new world, like he make it through. He get into that. He, they talk about what he did through his stories and stuff. And they ran with it. Alarm. Record. of Columbus and the imminent entry into force of the Treaty of Tordesillas. Imminent entry into force of the Treaty of Tordesillas. So that's what all Columbus been. The one that they choose, the colon, the colonizer. Uh, he the one of the ones that got he Basically, a surveyor <laughs> of like a, somebody who come and repraise your property. So they already got the treaty going and the claims of the land. So they come and praise it. The lords of Poniente, 
took precautions. So this skin is large of the West, which is, is the whole continent. And as they parasa I wanted to build a tower in Lanzarote on the shores of the Little Sea. And Juan de Guzman recalled that when his father died, he had forgot to take possession of the Cape Islands of Agua. So he's some some of these motherfuckers from the old walls <laughs> who like, hold up now, we got land, what are you talking about? But like the like the treaty is they ain't not it's supposed to be commercial relations. They claim they using it for to say that they own the continent. Like they need continent. So they come in through with prayers and shit. And paying crosses them. Looking for the taxes. Proxy. Barnabas Pinero say they use a lot of proxies and stuff too, so you won't even know who behind a lot of these things. Who really behind a lot of these events. And Francisco Castellanos arrived at the port of Zebe Dique on April 4, Zebedique on April 4, 1496. These allegedly lords of conquest. in the spelling to a cool Similar version overseas, way overseas. Seeing this, 
economy. the same word and then <coughs> phonetics is a motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, we know we're talking about 1496 here. Received by lords, sheiks, look at that. <laughs> Sheik's over there now. Al for Mars. That's another like a somebody who I think he good in astronomy and stuff. A more who like a sage. And head of the Kabilas. I don't know what that is, but some way might call it whatever so below. The Al Arab base, which is so what they were calling the Arabs. <laughs> they were calling us Arabs and the American way, like Al Arabis. Swore by their Al Quran, Quran, and the Al Quabra, Al Quabra, which is algebra. So they were over here talking about people who been Lord Sheikhs. Alpha Mars, heads of the Kalibas, the Arabes, swore by the Al Quran. We already had Al Quran and Algebra. <coughs> On behalf of those present and absent, born and unborn, who would follow, obey, and serve the Guzman as good and loyal vessels, opening the doors of the city's fortresses day and night as a lord paying him without resistance so as you see the most has been fucking with the school's mind do it for whatever reason the point of this right here is this show that people ain't know what they talk about man you keep saying most ones in this place and they show you right here that these natives even the ones under the goose more at this time. That's all the natives under at this time under one of these powers. Ain't nobody is sending under nothing. Unless they'll be food for somebody of the others. But you see how they already dealing with Alcoron and algebra at this early stage and the game in America. They feel don't tell us both stuff like that. They put the kid out of the Aguirre in Africa over it, so it wouldn't be shocking to see. <laughs> Excuse me, Arabs and Alcoran and Algebra and stuff over there, but it's not over here. <coughs> you know, with the Treaty of Twenty Seas. Connected to this, but 
Juan de Guzman recalled that when his father died, he had forgotten to take possession of the cape. I don't even know read that, right? The same thing? Yeah, it sounded the same thing. And we stop at what are we just doing? and the outcasts which they gave to the past king so basically they just keep that's just like how it used to be officers change and people don't the, the majority of the people ain't really into politics like that so they'll just start they'll just be the citizens of the next president regardless if they vote or not so that's what she's saying they just start to Doing the same thing that they've been doing, even if that old king, but they, but they people, and they new king is somebody who we had to take them over. Only part of the thing about these moles that they just lose their own protection the whole time. And they have to get protection from other entities and they won't pay and if you gotta do the problem people won't do stuff for you so that's number one thing we gotta just realize that anything that we need to be done we always gotta point to ourselves to do it if you feel that something needs to be done <laughs> somebody does something to you and then you gonna be the one who gonna Put your pass up and just get back right. And don't let nobody do that again. That's it. You ain't got time to cry, point fingers, and feel like a victim. All conditions that they defend them from the enemy, ensuring regular supplies of wheat and other European products, paid on time and in gold. So. They already got messed up the old trade so much that now most of it started to depend on certain foods that they used to been able that they already had easy access to dealing with the old way we used to trade back and forth in our Andalus and America and you know, we make some <coughs> paid on time and in gold. So they still selling it they go. It indicates the old age of the manor and the ceremony was closed by walking the weapons of the Guzman across the land shouting Niebla Niebla So Niebla is another one of those things like Portugal and Castile and all these old kingdoms the same step the test of time France did not take long to reply what they knew war to the closure of the Indies, cryptic letter to which Isabel was found, found, dated September 13, 1496, indicates that she touched Guzman. He was to give full for faith and belief. Whatever the Bishop of Bartijos, Juan de Fonseca, told him on so you can see how deep he is in the game. He dealing with her straight up. It's Isabel. So history books don't really talk about me and man. You can go find something about him, but it, a good bit of people in the story who should be in the same book when you read about Christopher Columbus in the history book. It should be they names to be in the books of maybe or American history before um, before Christopher Columbus if they've been telling the truth to you. This man had been insignificant to the point that he ain't even had need to exist. He ain't been there. He been a fucking been a praiser at best. <coughs> Whatever the Bishop of Padre George one day for the sake of told him on November 16th, the Duke of Medina doing was in Cadiz.
April 16th, the Duke of Medina Sidonia was in Cadiz. Once the artillery had been installed, the fortress repaired and the city filled with people he had to listen to the bishop. So they're talking about after they take over Peninsula from the Moors. You know, still taking kingdoms. So the tide of form him of the damage caused by the French on the coast of the kingdom. So they all know they deal with the French attack in <laughs> Spain. So you know, those were all set play too. Fourteen ninety six, so that's so right after they get the kingdom of Granada. <laughs> Couple years. So the one that Diego Cabra suffered from a factor in NAS de Peraza and is documented. Transfer material from the Santa Cruz de la Marta Quinn Atal work. The French attack its caravel, sinking in the waters of Lanzarote on April 4th, 1497. Uh, that make everything even more interesting because they could be talking about. Calais instead of Cadiz. That we over there. They could be talking about Calais. That's Calais over here. Calais. Uh. Attack its caravel, sinking it in the waters of Lanzarote. Yep. On April 4th, 1497, the king thanked Guzman for the service provided, remembering the merchants and the fishermen from Puerto de Santa Maria, regulars of Cape Verde from overseas. And she put that to make sure we ain't talking about. All, those, all these places that I name it, we can find off the coast of West Africa and in those islands over there right now. We can find these names over there. So, it's a case I'm like confused. Still, after you can't do all these things. Affected the sea, so even with France or any one of these na entities that we name, these just people who speak those old languages and still understand families, and we still have people who ain't even under none of that who just out there <laughs> causing havoc. That they say these times, these periods. I read about it, it just seemed, seemed real crazy, man. It seemed like anything go wrong so easily for people. Snatching and kidnapping and wholesale. But it could just be the same thing we do. It, seemed, it could be the same as the thing, just that. It 
so much people that stuff can be going on around us all the time and never affect us. Like people, like they say, people get um, shipped from one place to the next as slaves, as sex slaves, and like containers. And if they add up the numbers throughout our whole lifetime, it'd be thousands and stuff. But that story is a story, it never affect us personally. So, you know. <laughs> So it, or it could be like that if you think about it like that. You know, every of it ain't affect every boy the same way. That's just what I was saying. But you'd be surprised if I actually said questions that make it that lead me to believe they ain't got this simple understanding shit. The Castilian and trans transcendence consequence of greed as limitless as obtuse which drive the power to rip every last maravity that's a form of currency of the vessel decapitating him so that he cannot generate many more So now all them, all these motherfuckers <laughs> who thought it would have been cool to get down with these dudes getting text off the ass. It's still going on. The same, the same, cause the, these, the Catholic, right? That's who the, the that's who the so-called Texas IRS ultimately, allegedly, you know, getting all the taxes too, right? According to the um, so-called sovereign citizen. And that's what they usually say. So, sh showing you this is real. Why do you keep doing it? And this video right here long for no reason, and it just be rambling. them to death. They repeatedly devastated the Canary Islands, which is South America and the Caribbean Islands. By the war that been by justifying the slave trade was declared necessary in the Colombian conquest, it would be the forced conversion, the instrument that legalized the dispossession. So the disposition of the people from the uh, you see they use the slave trade which is connected to the conquest of the Moorish peoples you know between the Christians and the Moors the Holy War to uh, convert our Enslave anybody against their holy faith. <laughs> so that one, one of the reasons, but if they start to get the forced conversions of everybody, they can get their hands on and start to really start to make it look like a conquest of the world. Which is bullshit from the get go, because. They already look like conquest. They steal it from the people who protected it. If you're in a war, you got fighting. So you got people protecting something. If you got conversions, you ain't know if they can't force conversion or they just decide to be a greedy motherfucker that way. Over here, we got the records saying <laughs> 14 
26th, June 22nd, Order to Bogotar when Santa Cruz. The Order. They have they said or just uh, said or all the accounts of the people who they not use and they treachery. Then they probably would have been paid off. You probably would have get away with more stuff because you, because you as you can see, the American independence happened right quick after the, the Spanish or the Portuguese ain't really kept to enjoy nothing compared to what they claimed they had, they got, they just caused a lot of havoc from what they did, they didn't really enjoy not and what they had them and their prosperity. Their prosperity became Americans <laughs> and independent and kicked them out or whatever all against that, whatever, Spain or Portugal, right? So they, they don't got it in that sense, what they've been trying to do mentally. <laughs> And the reason why, and the, why the main reason why is because of overtaxing and stuff like that. And playing with them. the people who they are already, like, get on their side. They already, you know, a crook will be a crook. I know I'm supposed to stop, but I don't find a quiet spot. Let's keep it for a second. So, the monarchs would have understood that Portugal obtained succulent benefits because they were content with modern pariahs, bartering profusely in their factories without meddling in the matter of faith and internal government to refi competition. So they just did what they had did what they could and stick to that. <laughs> Instead of these Castilians and Catholics who were working to get do what they want to do. So they follow tradition, Manuel first king of the two Agaves, the Aquim, the A Dalim Mara in Africa, Senor de Guinea, which is a long ass way of saying Brazil and parts of Morocco. The not feel diminished or attacked by the presence of the Muslim monarch in their conquests. Compatible with the lordship of Beatrix of the superior power of the King of Fez, he received in Lisbon ambassadors of the Sheikhs of Mecca. So just the fact that he been dealing with the King of Fez, he been also getting favor favoritism from some of the Moors from over here. With the King of Fans, we already know. It's a whole bunch of story about <coughs> us in between. We're going on in the same time period and shit, too. So you can receive Elizabeth, ambassadors of the Sheikhs of Mecca and Azamor. Who gave him vassalage in the name of the kingdom, returning the visit through proxy at the beginning of 1497. So that's late in the game, you can still see more trying to savage the little piece of what we got over here. Be that slip, the capturing of moors, full of fake all over the continent. And what these most could have done, they could have gone into the islands of Southeast Asia where they got big matches at and just go live out and raise families and stuff out there. Which some of them probably did, but that's what these sheiks could have did. But no, they they had to protect their people with a bunch of moors over here. As in the case of Guzman, sheiks and lords gave him possession in a similar ceremony to that hail in the islands of Aguirre. So, there's really no war between Portugal and Castile, but the Moors try to attach on to Portugal. At the end game, 
and stands for defense and supply. They promise obvious an annual tribute of two horses, the usual outcast exemption from anchoring for their ships, pairing their vessels the one that touched the natives, like those of the kingdoms in the port of Portugal and Joy and Sea. So I should use natives too. I see but she will use the word natives <coughs> for both sides. Andalusian natives and Americans or whatever, but <laughs> from the protections of the Admiral and captains of Manuel the First, free the ships registered in the conquest for not going to Bay in Portugal. The travelers could not embark without pass of the factor nor in the ships. They did not belong to the Portuguese king. That did not belong to the Portuguese king. <laughs> who in exchange of the limitation he fed them during the trip of his accounts. Authorized Manuel I the first to build a fortress with a warehouse destined for a factory, teachers, stone masons, and lime kilns will send from Portugal. So, as you can see, we see the factories being built over by Portugal and be authorized stuff because you, you know he didn't want the Sharif. The limestone abundant, abundant when not using it. Those of the earth did not know how to cook it. They offered it to contribute laborers, sand, water, storm, and made a transportation. And I don't know what he means by it. Those of the earth. Because <laughs> it must be those of the fucking Mars if that's the case. <laughs> and it stands from the customary wages and prices, promising to make it as many roads as the king wanted under the same conditions. While the castles was finished, the sheiks lent enough house to factor to house family servants and merchandise. Customs of the Incas and the Aztec Emperor to have in the court children of provincial nobles as hostage who learned the language and customs of the capital, spread throughout the kingdom those of Mecca and Azamor, and is guaranteed that they will not change in their opinion. And they gave the royal proxies of fifteen boys the son of notables who staying in Lisbon until the end of the work imported the Portuguese language and manners. The ceremony ended by walking the banner of the hours through the province, put on a spear. So as we can see, that's what we talking about the same history as the first world history we just don't put it in the proper context we don't we don't let them deal with Lisbon and Portuguese and kingdoms called Mecca and Asimov <laughs> and they see the nature and they and they got they got children of these Portuguese um, Europeans as hostages and stuff back and forth it's, it's international Business as usual, just like the world going on today. Let's check. Let's check out something about. Let's check that out. Um, before we go, that's the last time I read. the anchor that we know is from the Barbary of the West. And more is phenotypically also I think one I think one might be on this too. Because the Portuguese and the Castilians end up being one, which being Spain, but they still been stole Moorish type peoples. So the 
is the anger of Beatrix Lords. Who <coughs> see Charles on this nigga Carlos. And they got a Fernando Where's Get Six. Get I don't know. Affiliate Peter Fourth. See, we ain't even get to me. Like, we might never get to these group, these people right here because these, these niggas lay in the game, man. They way lay in the game. We still, like, hey, we ain't even get to, we ain't even get to him yet. He's still a child. This man right here. Still a child. He, he the grandson of Isabella and Fernando. But you still got lords like this all around. These are the people who we be talking about who name like Perez, <laughs> Inveter, Uxica. So we got Philip the second. Then we got Philip the third. Man, you might as well get to some of these people. Fourth, Philip the fourth, Carlos the second. Take the name as Charles the second too. He gave the name back to Philip. And he been the first Luis in the Spanish Empire. Felipe and Fernando. Down here. He take on the name Carlos the third. And he take on the name Carlos the Fourth or Charles the Fourth. And he continue even to this day you still got people who got their punches on this motherfucker. As you can see, your people on this bitch too, all over the place. One more thing, I want to show I can, and I'd like to be able to find it easily. Just do like this. It's another trick. You want to find something? If you know the website they own, you can just. The website only like that. And put in a word. So right here do a good job with quests and everything and they give you all the history that's you know readily available and they question it all and they make a lot of sense most of the time looking for a particular picture as you know it is the, the author of the site. It, it gives him a lot of credit and love. He put, he break down <coughs> a lot of stuff that uh, helped me make a lot of sense of the stuff I've been reading in these old books in Europe. That's 200 years from what we are, or 100 or something. And we still got wars. But this the Dutch now at war. But this Portuguese, you see now, that's the Portuguese colony, the Knights of Order of Christ. And look how they look. See what I'm saying? That's why I see the Portuguese been. I think some of the first Moors who started to call this all other stuff like. Spanish and Portuguese it's from the Andal Andalusian you know 700 years of rulership I had that they were from Brazil <laughs> come, they come away from Musa and they say Musa had the book say Musa had about 300 Negroes they were talking about those more from the Negro rivers of America who end up being the Portuguese of the 
Your phone battery level is at 26%. Franchise is a crime against humanity with this So, let me see where we stop at. Because I believe it getting clear that. Because we're dealing with those people. It's that we don't, those terms ain't exist 
at that time on November. So. <laughs> already been like I even say had for the whole over here before still ain't even been in the play and when they cry like a baby they get the Catholics they give them peace they this how you ain't up me and it's a bit I have to give them some of that <laughs> because even worse than that when you, when you look at the treaty of towards the sea and they had a low peace for Portugal next because they started to go to war with them. So they call it the Kingdom of Affairs. And that's what they don't talk about. Because it's 1430, it's before the falsehoods. And it deals with the Americas. You can't put the word affairs in America deal with the word they, they call it all the affairs on documented paper in the 1400s now you gotta now you not going back and forth with tram all this time about more than being from America now you can't explain this now so that's why they have to hide stuff like that <laughs> put that shit in Africa that shit say the king of affairs Anyway, until next time, that's love.